increasing the number of ministers from 36 between 2015 and May this year to 43 for the next four years as part of government's effort to broaden service delivery to the people. This is in line with the next level agenda of the administration. And joining us on the news now to discuss more on this is the National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Adam Soshomole. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. The impression in 2015 for limiting the number of ministers to 36 was that of cutting down on governance cost. Uh, but right now we're back to appointing a minister from each geopolitical zone. In addition to each minister from 36 states, what do you think changed in four years? Well, I think on the second term, the president must have reflected on the challenges of the first term. And the whole idea is to try and see, given the fact that this is the final term for this president, we have to do a couple of things differently with a view to ensuring that we fast track the pace and the quality of service delivery to the Nigerian people. To be very honest, the cost of running government is not about the number of ministers. How much does the minister actually earn in a year? You will find that the bureaucracy remains the same, even if you have appointed ministers to superintend over the federal government agencies. You will have cost, doubtful cost. I think we are looking at all the tension that characterize two ministers in one ministry without clearly delineated uh, responsibilities apparently hasn't quite worked in some cases. I think the president has reflected deeply, and the party is convinced that there was no point pretending that at the heart of our problem is the number of ministers. I think at the heart of our problem is the, is the overall cost of maintaining the bureaucracy, cutting down wasteful spending, cutting down foreign trips, ensuring that um, procurement policies are more transparent and Nigerians getting value for money. I don't think we should worry about the number of ministers. And you know the, the reality of the matter is we are in a political environment. The president is obliged by law to appoint a minister in each state. So if he has a specialized areas of particular interest and he decides that we need more heart, that would be fine. For example, okay. not a few Nigerians thought that loading power works and housing together, those critical key infrastructure might be too much for even a super minister. And so, uh, creating a minister of uh, or separate minister of power. Uh, I, I think it is meant to make a statement that we need to devote more attention to that particular sector. Um, I can think of a couple of other places. I mean, the conflict between minister of transport and minister of aviation. Again, these are well-established bureaucracies in their own right. And what it needs to manage the rail, the water, it's very different from what you require in the in the in the Absolutely. Sector. I'm going to have so to bottle in now. I believe that what the, what the, what we should insist on is not the number of ministers. I get your point precisely. That nobody should complain of being overloaded, and the minister give their best to the country. And I'm sure the ministers are in a hurry to do just that. Your party had promised in 2015 the 35 percent appointments for women. Are you concerned that we only have seven, four out of which are junior ministers? at a time when countries like Ethiopia and Rwanda had already achieved 50% gender balance in such appointments? Well, now you are going to something that is totally different. And Nigeria would like to pick and choose selected cases. I think what is important to the Nigeria woman today is what will be different in the quality of life of the Nigeria housewife, the quality of life of the Nigerian girl child, quality of life of the Nigerian woman. Of course, if we have more women, I would be the happiest for it. But I don't think we should go and dramatize this any much more. The important thing is that this time around, we have more women than we had in 2015. Okay, very of quickly, course, let's talk about the next the future, level agenda this number will further increase. of your party, the APC. Uh, the president says it's time to revamp security and provide a diversified and more inclusive economic growth as well as fighting corruption. Help us understand what measurable goals there are uh, for Nigerians to be able to track the fulfillment of those promises in the next four years. I think that every Nigerian is an evaluator. We don't have to agree on the basis for measurement. I think every Nigerian has his own level of expectation. What is important is that the president is committed to further improving on the successes recorded in all of the areas that you are talking about. 
There is no question that a lot of progress has been made in decimating Boko Haram. They don't have the courage, the, 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 uh, they don't have the strength that they had before. Not many Nigerians know now that even the uh, police headquarters was subject of attack. The United Nations headquarters was attacked with impunity by Boko Haram. So some progress has been made, but we are satisfied that we can do a lot, lot more. And as you can see, the, minister, the president has decided to appoint a new minister of defense. That may be a pointer to how he thinks that we should manage our defense ministry quite differently. Uh, on the economy, yes, from recession, we return to one, uh, two percent growth rate. This is obviously not good enough, considering the fact that our population growth rate is higher than two percent. And we are hopeful that with the injection of new blood okay. and renewed determination and a, and a, a resolve to, de to deploy more political will to deal with all of those issues that has uh, inhibited us from realizing the full potential of our nation, that we should be able to expect not only a higher economic growth rate, but also ensure that the fruit of growth is distributed in a way that will be part of the culture of life of the Nigerian people. Absolutely. And that was why the president insisted that there must be um, a two-day uh, um, two retreat for ministers to understand that we were around the country. Some of those ministers may not have been present in those rallies. And in each of those locations, we renewed the promise to lift a hundred million, about 100 million people out of poverty. And you know the government before us had said they were going to create 30 million billionaires. President Buhari's interest is not to create more billionaires. You want to lift 100 people out of poverty. So every minister is encouraged to recognize that the bottom line, you know, that we do, the question will be to what extent are these policies lifting more and more Nigerians out of poverty? That is the benchmark. And I'm sure that the ministers are clear. Okay. And I'm very happy that you can see that this time around, we had the retreat before ministers were appointed. And that, I believe, enabled the, the president to interact with the ministers, designates at the day where, size them up, listen to the quality of their conversation, and uh, ask himself the question, who will better do who would work ministry? And I am very excited. A couple of things have been done differently. And I'm afraid we might just have to leave it there from for now. National okay. Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Adam Sushumole, thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 7.